The other night, my husband and I went for our after supper walk. Our neighbors across the street were busy planting flowers and new perennials. Our neighbor to the right of us spent last weekend reseeding her front lawn and planting flowers. The month of May is upon us. The trees are in full bloom, the grass is greener, and the flowers and the dandelions are making their appearance. And with the long weekend upon us, you can be sure that there will be lots of people out in their gardens planting flowers and plants in their flower beds and vegetable gardens. That got me thinking, what type of flowers and plants are we planting in our own personal gardens? Galatians 6, 7 and 8 reads, Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. The one who sows to please his sinful nature from that nature will reap destruction. Interesting. If we claim to be born again and spirit filled, we cannot be sowing seeds to please our sinful and selfish nature. You may be asking, well, what type of seeds are those? The preceding chapter in Galatians 5, 19 to 21 says, the acts of the sinful nature are obvious, sexual immorality, impurity and debauchery, idolatry and witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissensions, factions, and envy, drunkenness, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I did before, that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. Quite the list by the Apostle Paul, along with a warning, we believers cannot continue in our corrupt desires and tendencies because it defies God. That is why we must resist yielding to our sinful nature. The second half of verse 8 in chapter 6 continues in saying, the one who sows to please the Spirit from the spirit will reap eternal life. So what seeds do we need to sow to please the spirit? Verses 22 and 23 in chapter five say, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control against such things there is no law. A godly and Christ-like character will develop in our lives if we allow the Holy Spirit to direct and influence our lives. We choose what we will plant in our personal gardens. We either keep satisfying our earthly natures and not inherit the kingdom of God, or we submit to God's authority in our lives reaping eternal life. So as Galatians 6, 9 says, let us not become weary in doing good for at the proper time, we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Acts of the sinful nature or fruit of the spirit. I choose fruit.